world and all who inhabit it, my name is Ashley and I am the newest member of the MCU fan base. Even though the fan base seems like it is a mess right now. I mean, at least the Twitter side of it. Y'all are just never happy, are you? With all the content that has been released in Phase 4, I feel like one of the most controversial or the one that really got people mixed up in whether they like it or not is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and that is what we are going to watch today. I actually have seen this movie. I went to go see it in theater like the day, second day maybe, that it came out because I was like, hi mother, I need to go see her. I know it's a Doctor Strange movie, but like, I will take any Wanda content that I can get. But yeah, I'm really excited to watch this with you guys. Um, I guess let's just get into it, right? Oh boy. Why, why the Steve Rogers? He's dead. Speaking of like the whole Captain America thing, some of y'all need to let Steve Rogers go. I understand. Trust me, I understand. I fucking love him. But our Captain America is someone new. Give Sam Wilson his flowers. It's okay. It will not hurt you. Sam Wilson will not hurt you. <laughs> when this part started, you know, it's pitch black, I'm ready to, you know, get into the world, I'm ready to see Wanda, and this pops up. I was like, girl, did I miss a chapter or two? Because what is this? Because I knew America Chavez was going to be in this movie, but I did not expect her to be, like, thrown right in there. I have to say, though, I'm not a fan of the ponytail. It's giving I use three-in-one wash, and I think that's acceptable. I'm so sorry. This is the only way. <laughs> Your sacrifice is worth more than your life. See, my only problem with this scene was, like, I, I didn't know this character enough to, like, really care. I was just kind of like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Genuinely, that was my only concern for the first couple minutes. I think a big criticism of this movie was, like, its pacing, so I'm really going to try to pay attention to that and give you guys my opinion on it. Because I genuinely don't remember a lot. I think I blacked out. I walked out of the theater traumatized, and that was it. <laughs> And now I know some of you sick bastards are looking at this and you're like, oh yeah, Daddy Benedict Cumberbatch. Control yourself! I mean, I was thirsting after Vecna, so can I really say anything? No, I really can't. I actually find this scene so incredibly sad. I mean, that's how you should be with your exes. Like, if you can, you can be friends. Like, this is cool, let's show up and support you on your wedding day, but like... <laughs> The lady in the back, Dr. damn. Strange. She said, I'm getting a minute of screen time and bitch, I'm gonna make that minute worth it. This is going in my reel and everyone will know I am a star. It's so awkward and so uncomfortable. Class of red, please. Oh, allow me, miss. A little too on the nose. Not for you at my wedding? Nah, it was perfect. <laughs> See, I'd be like, okay, now you're showing off. Like, you think this is a cute little party trick? We've seen it. We got it. I never stopped caring about us, but I had to make sacrifices. It was never gonna work out between us. Ouch. And I always respected you for it, but I couldn't love you for it. I'm happy. Why the fuck you lying? There's gotta be one person at this party who is like, oh my god, is that Doctor Strange? And they're like, I'ma bone him. You know there is some horny bridesmaid there who is like, I'ma bone the magic guy. And everyone's like, oh, you mean the magician in the corner? No, the one with the cape. <laughs> See, I love that. I love that. That is so disturbing on so many levels. Like, that is Mike Wazowski on crack. Like, Mike Wazowski has seen some things and he is going through something. Oh. I'd be pissed. I'd be like, my wedding. My wedding day. Yeah. Sam, I'm with you. How do I know you won't betray me like he did? I guess you're just gonna have to trust me. Gotta violate an ordinance. Oh, I've buried worse. Where's Wanda? I've seen this movie. But where's Wanda? My girl who needs therapy. Which same. How are y'all doing? Y'all need some therapy? Y'all need someone to talk to? Because if you do, don't worry, I got you. 
Thanks to today's sponsor, BetterHelp, finding the right therapist for you has never been easier. BetterHelp, if you don't know, is customized online therapy that offers videos, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. And all you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. You can schedule secure videos and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely Ooh. confidential. Plus the best part is that you can request a new therapist for no additional charge. Which if you've been in the therapy pool, you know, therapy, finding a therapist, it's like shoes. It's not one size fits all. And on top of that, I know I personally have had a rough, <laughs> rough two years. And I know I'm not alone in that. So if you want to join me and the 2 million plus people who are using BetterHelp, you can get 10% off your first month by going to BetterHelp, that's H-E-L-P dot com slash your internet mom and start prioritizing your mental health today. Link in the description box below. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get back into it. Hey, what the oh, fact that the WandaVision oh, theme song plays? Oh, your Oscar. <laughs> Love WandaVision so much. The fact that I watched it with little to no knowledge of even what was going on is still felt every emotion that was intended to come through speaks volumes. There's a reason that it is Disney Plus's best series. <laughs> I'm gonna put that statement out there. I'm sorry, we can fight in the comments. And the music cutting off. Silence, depression, sadness. I know this world a little too well. <laughs> At least the interior's cute. I just noticed that it's kind of like in the Red family too, like her power. That's cool. Oh my god, this whole scene. This whole scene. It smells sweet. I was gonna say real. Oh, it's all very real. Thanks. <laughs> I put the magic behind me. Mm-hmm. I made mistakes and people were yep. hurt. But you put things right in the end and that was never in yep. doubt. We need your help. We found a girl who can somehow travel across it, but she's being pursued. What if you brought America here? You never told me her name, did no. you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Girl, you sold yourself out. I'm so sorry. Iconic. I'm sorry. This is the same energy of like everybody that went to the theater. Like, imagine being a Doctor Strange fan, right? You're going to the theater. It's gonna be your newest obsession. You're so excited to watch him. And every person in front, behind, right, and left sees Wanda and starts going, Mother, Mother. She kills somebody. Mother, Mother. And you're like, damn, we're not here for her. She's the villain. But guess what? We don't care. <laughs> I'm going to leave this reality and go to one where I can be with my children. You created them using magic. That's what every mother does. Like, why does she have the best lines in this movie? You break the rules and become a hero. I do it and I become the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. Well, why are you pulling me? I'm right! Then it won't be Wanda who comes for her. It will be the Scarlet Witch. Cars must now become a fortress. Ooh, here she comes. I actually really love this whole scene. It's really cool. And I think it's a really good showcase of how powerful she is. I mean, there's a couple scenes like that, but this is a good introduction to like, yo, in case you didn't know, in case you still had your doubts of who is the most powerful person, here she is. All this for a child you met yesterday. Wanda. I mean, could say the same thing about you, girl. <laughs> you met your children and had them for a couple of days, so. You have no idea just how reasonable I have been. Yeah. Sending those creatures after her instead of myself was mercy. And it's. This is my Joker. <laughs> I've exhausted my patience. Oh, tell him. Tell him. But I do hope you understand what's about to happen. This is me mm -hmm. being reasonable. I'm a nut. I'm a nut! So good. So good. I know a lot of people love like the villain to hero story. I love the hero to villain story. I think it's so fun. It's such a like cool way to explore a complex character that like you still want to root for, but you're like, God damn it, if you just don't start doing the right thing. Yeah, because with this situation with Wanda, say she did do the right 
thing in every situation. Like, would anyone give a damn about her? No. They would all just be like, okay, yeah, she's a little witch. We'll call her when we need her. They wouldn't even care. She's got no friends. Run. Mm-hmm. I want to know if this was any of the other characters, like if this was Thor, for example, if this was like Iron Man or something, you know, before he croaked, would people have the same reactions as they do with Wanda? I think people are so quick to just dismiss all the pain that she's gone through and be like, well, no, like it's just not right, which yeah, we all can acknowledge that. We all see that. But if it was a different character that's been here for so long, I, I wonder if it would be different. In the music box? Nope. Nope. Her fingers. Mm. See, I think that's a little detail that if you didn't watch WandaVision, you would just be like, oh, that's a cool design. But no, that shows, you know, the book has a hold of her. It's not just her doing this for fun. Like, yeah, this is her feelings deep down, but that book has a hold of those feelings and amplifies it to the point where she makes these decisions. She's using the reflections. Cover them. Oh, this scene's coming. Oh, this scene's coming. Okay, okay, okay. Like, I'm sorry, what movie am I watching? Oh my god, I'm watching Stranger Things again. Your body should not be moving that way! Like a damn ragdoll. You cannot be allowed to cross into the multiverse. I'm not a monster, Steven. I'm, I'm a, a mother. mother. I remember that. Nope. Icon! Icon. <laughs> This is cool visually. Definitely reminds me of the first Doctor Strange with that one scene. You know that one scene with the hand on the hands? No. No. I mean, at least you guys landed somewhere pretty. You saved me. Surprised you didn't puke. It's not my first weird trip, kid. Oh, not a hole. Honestly, where's the capes, like Disney Plus show? I would watch a whole show on this cape. What does that say about me? Rule number one of multiversal travel, you don't know anything. Right. Why is everyone wearing hats? Like, that looked like Coven. It's is that red. not Coven right there? Wait a minute, where's Emma Roberts? Jessica Lang? You didn't pay for that. Maybe it's not for you here. Pizza Papa. Pizza Papa. Pizza Papa. Come on, it's not permanent. Like, he'll stop in a few minutes? About three weeks. I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but. Arwanda has the ability to conjure demons and monsters to attack. There is a spell contained within those pages, corrosive to the soul. Dreamwalking. Bum, bum, bum. I love this part. It's so cool. Possessed. Oh, with the music. Shut up. Shut up. It's so good. It's giving 90s cult horror. And if y'all can't appreciate that and respect that, then you need to go and do your homework. Oh, this scene coming up. Can I have a little more ice cream? Oh, it's so creepy. You know what, now that, like, the more I'm watching this, the more I'm realizing this should have been a Scarlet Witch movie with Doctor Strange in it. <laughs> We love breaking the fourth wall. We like ice cream like every child should. What else? He's a clouds. What? We promise to be good. good. That was such a like. Only a mother could love that. I was sitting next to someone minding my business and they said, you want to see this really funny video of my children? And they show me that and I have to fake laugh and be like, oh, hi, yeah, they're so adorable. They're so cute. Meanwhile, like I want to take the phone and smash it to the ground. Like if my children sang that to me, I'd be like, you're not getting ice cream. You need to work on that. Where were the harmonies? The pacing was off. You weren't on beat. <laughs> Go practice in the corner and then come talk to me. And maybe you'll get your damn ice cream. This universe sucks. <laughs> that was like genuinely the first like okay. really, really, really funny line. Nameless scientist, so just... Christine! Oh! Going around naming realities. Yes. Me. 
She's like, you know, I'm just the head of this entire department. I make millions of dollars a year and have an extremely tight coochie, so. Well, what then? Hydra? The Illuminati will see you now. Okay. The Illuminati? The Illuminati? Shut up. Is that part of the comics? Or did they just decide to name them the Illuminati? Either way, it sucks of a name. I heard that in theater and that almost made me laugh. I was like, the Illuminati? Like, Beyonce is gonna walk out and talk to Stephen Strange? Like, Lady Gaga's victims to become famous are gonna come out and be like, hi, we're real. What is it with Captain Carter? I don't understand. Why are we so far up Captain Carter's ass? Like, I can see out of her mouth. It is ridiculous. If Steve Rogers is dead, so is Peggy in my book. Peggy is dead. Get rid of her. We need to stop. Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> you guys excited for the new Fantastic Four coming out? I kind of am. Be grateful Black Bolt doesn't engage you in conversation. Why? Does he have bad breath? <laughs> we should tell him the truth. Ooh, I wonder who it is. The theme plane, like, stop. That's not how our strange died. I killed him. He was bouncing pennies off of my bald head and I snapped one day, I just can't help it. She said, y'all will not give me what I want and I'm gonna make it everybody's problem. And I respect that, I really do. The building's been breached. I shouldn't be smiling. I shouldn't be happy. It's Wanda. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. You've possessed an innocent woman, but you can still. The line's coming up. The line's coming up. I have children of my own. I understand your pain. Is their mother still alive? Yes. Good. There will be someone left to raise them. Mother! One whisper from his mouth. What mouth? Stop. Stop! <laughs> like, how do you look at this and not know that she's the strongest? Like, he just got turned into string cheese. <laughs> Haven't you had enough? Oh, I could do this all day. Five minutes. That's all she needed. All she had was some mom jeans and a dream, and she did what she had to do. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. See, this is the showdown. Like, he is the one that, if I was Wanda, I'd be shaking in my boots. Ah, the Wanda Division thing. Bye. Your mind is being held hostage by your alternate self. I actually really love this scene. I think it's so cool. <laughs> because, like, Charles Xavier, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But, like, that's the point. It's to show how powerful she really is. I love this. I just like weird set designs like this. Like, what do you mean the ocean is right outside the door? And the stairs are going to God knows where. It's cool. You ever had that dream where you're falling as if you've been pushed off a tall building? That was probably me. Yeah, say this is the scene with the eye. And like the music notes, right? Anytime they use music as a visual aid, I'm down. <laughs> Visually stunning too, like the two different colors. Oh. His darker, more sinister music against his more happy, light-hearted. And then them clashing against each other, like it's so good. Ah! I love that part. Just one little note. Bing! The power of music. I forgot that it was that aggressive. I remember him getting impaled. I don't remember it being like that. Dreamwalk? 
I needed to protect my body in case they attack me for trespassing. Who's they? <laughs> You'll see. The souls of the damned. A version of you need to live in that universe so that you can dreamwalk into them. <laughs> Step ahead of you. Who said they had to be living? Mm -hmm. Hi, sisters! <laughs> If she beats Wanda, I'm gonna be pissed because it took us two hours to establish that Wanda is the most powerful being. Mm -mm. I can't beat you, so I'll give you what you want. This was so clever. I'll give you what you want, but it's gonna come with a consequence. Really? Tell me. That part makes me laugh though. They're just watching the TV and then they look over like you didn't just see the giant star hole in the wall. First you screw up the ice cream song and now this. Unacceptable. Get away from our mom! No, 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 Stop it! Please don't hurt us. Please. And y'all couldn't get Wanda some chapstick? I'm not a monster. She oh. has a family, she's a mother. It's like, this is so sad. Like, I know she's the villain. I get it. I completely understand. I'm not saying her actions were good, but from a viewing perspective, do I get it? Yeah, I do. Oh, this moment. So sweet. No, it could be love. Like, it's just pain oh. for her. Just pain. Suffering, crying, shaking, throwing up. That's it. I opened the dark hole. I have to close it. See, that little red power there. Please tell me that that means Wanda's still alive, because I will not accept Wanda not being alive. Is that delusional of me? I don't know. How is this so much harder than the multiversal portal? <laughs> but I do want to ask you something. Are you happy? Sometimes I do wonder about my other lives. And I remain grateful in this one, even with its tribulations. I'm glad I fell into your universe. So am I, kid. Cute. So am I. We love, like, the grumpy old man with the, you know, spunky young girl duo. I am looking straight at you, Joel and Ellie. Straight at you. I actually love this scene too. It's so simple. Like he's just fixing his watch, but it symbolizes so much for his journey and his character. You know what that is? It's gross. Oh, this scene. First off, I was walking the street and saw this man like that. I'd be like, uh, is he okay? And then, and then. That shit is ugly as hell. Okay, let's watch these uh, post credit scenes and then we'll kind of talk about the movie for a sec. Doctor Strange? Like, who? Who is Cleo? You caused an incursion, and we're gonna fix it. I mean, she's a bad bitch with some great makeup, so. Not in the least. Like, what? I don't know who Cleo is, but I already support her. <laughs> All right, and then the last credit, which. I know a lot of people make fun of it. I think it's funny personally. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> so let's talk about this movie, right? I think off of a rewatch, you know, that high of uh, not knowing what's gonna happen, seeing Wanda, fearing for her life. That definitely helped a lot within my initial reaction to the movie. I do think on my second watch, the pacing is a little interesting, but at the same time, I don't really know how else they could have done it. Like, I do like the route that they went, but there's just something that's a little off about it. I'm used to these like two hour movies, but this one I found myself checking more and more of like how much time there was left in it. And I don't know if that's because 
this wasn't necessarily like a Doctor Strange movie. Kind of what I said earlier, I almost feel like this could have been a Scarlet Witch movie with Doctor Strange in it. And I almost feel like that would have been more interesting to like follow the villain of the movie rather than the hero of the movie. But as far as like creative choices, the element of like the horror in it with the music and everything like that I really really adore that I really love it I think it's fresh it's something different the weird thing with Marvel fans is that they want something different but then the second they get it it's not okay to be fair I don't really know what will make Marvel fans happy especially um, with all the complaints of like oh you know all the movies are boring and like it's just all these new characters da -da -da -da. what did you think happened in phase one I mean granted I wasn't really there for phase one but you're not gonna have every movie be in Infinity War and Endgame level like it took 10 years to get to that point and I think people forget that because we got that movie and they're like okay I want every movie to be like that but that's just not realistically going to happen overall with this movie I think it's fine I, I do think they're gonna be better movies that are gonna be coming out soon granted I haven't seen Thor yet so I don't know I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about that one I might honestly if you guys want me to, I will. I might honestly wait until it comes out on Disney and then watch it with you guys. Definitely would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this movie in the comments down below. Let's gossip, let's talk, let's chit chat. And of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to like subscribe, all that junk I'm supposed to say as a YouTuber, whatever. I love you. Stay safe. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Mwah!